Welcome to IB151. Today, this video will help you guys learn how to use the LabQuest 2 device and the Logger Pro software on it. Right now, we have it set up so that the CO2 and O2 wires are connected to our device. Our pea plant is inside of this bucket and it's covered in tinfoil to simulate darkness or nighttime. We have it 80 centimeters away from our light source and heat sink. We have the light off at the moment. But for now, I want to tell you guys how to use this software. So first of all, you're going to need to turn it on. The on button is right here. You can see it. So just press that and it will come to life. We have USB sticks already in, so you guys do not need to provide your own. So right now, <clears throat> when the device turns on by itself, we have automatically, it's on oxygen gas and percentages. So just click that, click change units and go to parts per million. Uh, we want the CO2 also on parts per million, so that's already like that. That's good. We want to change this duration, rate, and mode. So we actually want it to be on um, 30 minutes. So we'll change this to minutes and then 30. So you guys should go ahead and calibrate these once you guys are ready. We want... 10 samples per minute, so we'll change this to 10 samples per minute. Okay, and see now we have it, uh, every sample is 0.1 minute in duration. Okay, so that's how we change this data collection. We click OK, and it'll take us back to that screen. Now we have it in parts per million, we have all the time and duration set up properly. We are at this little dial tab right now and so you can click over on this graph tab right here and it, you will see that you can read what is currently going on with the plant so right now with the setup hopefully there you go you can see they're all connected it's running properly it's reading because these are changing slightly and right now we have not started it so the time is at zero and once you click this green button it will start Oh, got to press it a little harder. The other cool thing about this little device is that there's a little pen tool if you guys want to use the pen tool instead. And you can tap with the pen tool if you would like to, okay? So that will help get you guys started. So right now, as you can see, while I've been talking, it's been going for 0.4 minutes. So you can see that it's starting to graph. And once we hit the stop button, then it will zoom in on the time frame that we collected. So make sure you guys read page G6, and that will tell you guys all how to work through this lab. And don't forget to add a second part to number four. You need to cover the plastic uh, jar with foil before you start um, collecting data because we want to simulate the darkness initially. Okay, um, feel free to replay if you want to see this again.